so let's start so today we will learn about uh, compress and uncompress algorithm that is nothing but tar commands so the terminal will check what is a tar command why we use that command yeah so in uh, linux uh, in windows system we have a, a zip file compress karne ke liye hum linux system mein we have a, an option called as a zip file when in tar or in linux we have a option of tar okay so here we need to use a tar command to compress compress and uncompress the file uncompress the file aapko compress karne ke liye uncompress karne ke liye uh ye commands useful hai the name of that command is a tar so here we will check what is a tar man tar so we'll get the gnu version of the tar archiving utility archive matlab compress karna hota hai utility it is any utility to compress and uncompress the file so assume that if you want to compress some files then we will use tar component if you want to uncompress the file we will use tar component so in that we have three options by using that we can compress the file first of all we will learn about some theoretical part and after that we will do the practical so in the tar we have dot tar extension file hash dot tar extension file is a basic compression algorithm second one is a dot b zip bz2 file and one more is there called as a dot zz extension okay so we have three ways by using we can the compress your files the difference is by using tar we can simply compress the file basic files okay it took less time as compared to bz2 and gz gz okay extension thoda sa alag hai iska so by using these three ways we can compress the file so similarly if you want to say, uh, if you want to make a simple compress algorithm then simply we can use a dot tar extension if you want to more rigorous Uh, compression then we will use zz and again if you want to more rigorous rigorous compression then we will use b2z so the time required to compress for tar is less as compared to dot zz file and time required to compress zz file as compared to bz2 is less and bz2 file required more uh, time to compress the file okay for example if you have a 10 mb file then automatically it will compress uh by using this three ways so how we will compress for that we will make some directories and we will apply this formula okay so for that here i will create one folder in the desktop so cd desktop in that i'll as command here i will use mkdir tar yeah uh, backup data my file name is backup data so i will enter into that backup data and i will create four files how will make a files by using touch command if you want to create greater than one file touch uh ej or abc here i will create five files one dot dot five starting from one ended with five we'll check that touch command we have five files assume that this is a most useful data and you want to take a backup Uh, sorry you want to take a compress uh, we want to take backup as well as you need to compress the files so if you want to compress a files we have three option dot tar dot dot tar dot zz and dot bz2 by using three ways we can create the compress problem to know about that we need to use man tar here we'll get the uh, information here will zz zz search yeah here with the options detail information to extract file here is an example to create file here is a archival so all the options are available this zzip here is we have zzip option also available for j where is a j yeah this one see bz file bz2 we'll use this extension also zzip bzip and tar 
okay so now i want to make a tar file for that cd text ls ls so mujhe kya karna hai ye jo backup data hai iska compress file archival file okay create karna hai okay so for that here we will use tar name of the file first how will use command to create 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 tar file that means zip file we need to use hash tar after that name of file with extension for example here i will use a demo dot tar file name dot extension and after that we need to provide a path kiska aapko extension kiska archive aapko banana hai okay so here we will use example tar demo dot tar and after that the path slash home will provide actual path as well as a relative path so here we have backup backup data i want to create a tar file for that backup data and that file will be created in the desktop folder okay enter so for that we need to provide an option hyphen c for create v for verbose and f for file format okay c v f here i miss this concept say tar hyphen c v f c is used to create the tar file v is nothing but verbose maine pichli baar bhi bataya tha v stands for verbose it will print on your command line uh, command prompt okay ye command prompt pe aapko display kar deta hai jiska bhi aap ye tar bana rahe whatever operation you perform that information will be displayed on the uh, console or terminal okay and f stands for file format so here i will enter now backup data in that backup data abc5 abc4 abc1 abc2 and abc3 all these files are compressed having name demo dot tar we'll check that ki ye sachmuj create hua hai ke nahi see here we have a file called as a demo dot tar ye desktop pe file create hua hai we'll check that in the desktop folder yeah here we have a file demo dot tar okay so that file contains all the information about backup data jo bhi aapka backup data hai uske andar ki jo information hai that information will be contained into that tar file file ke andar kya hai assume that these are the demo data abc abc abc2 3 4 5 similarly assume that you have a huge collection of photos we will compress them if you have huge collection of videos we also compress them it required a less press so the compression algorithm the compress and decompress that uses so in that we have using three different techniques so the main goal of that compression alg algorithm is to reduce the actual space assume that if you have a 10 mb of data and you need to compress the data the data will be compressed of size near about 4 to 5 mb b zip hoga to 2 mb 3 mb ke aas pass create ho jayega isse kya hota hai simply aapka jo data hota hai ye compression algorithm use karke size reduce kar deta hai so you will get more space to work on the hard drive okay so this is the simple way to create the archival file or tar file how will create simply we will use tar command after that hyphen c for create v for verbose it is not mandatory to use v but v use karne se aapko dikhai de raha hai ki kya kya compress ho raha hai and file format after that name of file jo aapko karna hai having extension tar and after that path of file so this is a simple way to create a compressive algorithm for tar file this is a command one by using command one we can create now i want to use uh, another file so i have made it uh, just one minute don't close that yeah pdf on that see tar dot pdf isme maine chapters pure diye hain aur with example diye hain tar kaise use karna hai kya karna hai simply kaha jana hai kaise hota hai what is the meaning of c c is nothing but create a new tar file of archive verbose shows the dot tar file progress and file type of the archival okay ab now the second step we will create tar.zz okay 
So to create a compressed ZZ, ZZ file, archive file, we can use the option Z. ये additional option आपको use करना है extension के लिए. So same way, here I will show you tar hyper CVZF. So अगर आप tar use कर रहे हो, just one minute. So just we need to add the Z. जैसे हमने previous dot tar किया था, उसके अंदर हम उल्टी V F use करते। In that, if you want to create Z zip file, okay? Z zip आपको use करना है, then we need to use just we need to add a Z only. After that same thing, here we need to provide name dot Z Z. In previous, we use a tar extension dot tar file. Here we need to use zz that is zzip. And after that, we need to pass a path. Uske baad mein aapko pass kya karna hai? Path pass karna hai. By using that, we can create we can create a compressed file having extension zzip. Okay. Ab zzip kyu use karna hai? Tar se to compress hota hai na. But tar se kam space compress hota hai. By using zz zzip file we can compress more data okay so we'll get more data we will get more space to use that so that's why we will use zz yeah zzip but kabhi bhi yaad rakhna hai ki zzip use karte samay z extension option add hona chahiye to hi wo zz extension hoga otherwise nahi okay now we'll create tar hyphen c v z f after that name of file, उसका नाम देना है demo one dot zz and path path क्या देना है backup data here I am giving a relative path actual path नहीं दे रहा so आप if you want to give actual path so देना है आपको home name of working directory उसके बाद में मैंने desktop पे हूँ desktop के अंदर backup data नाम का folder है so we need to provide a full path okay so, you have to give a full path, you have to give a relative path and actual path. We have already learned in previous lecture what is the difference between actual path and relative path. Enter, when we enter, then B stands for verbose. This will be shown in the prompt or in the terminal that there are some problems or some of the files compressed. That means progress report will be shown on the terminal. See, removing leading from member names, home, Arvind, desktop, backup. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, C, all the information. But there is a problem here when we provide a full path, the whole page information will be, uh, what do we say, the home, whole page information will be compressed. So I will prefer a relative path for the that. Okay, we'll show when we extract that files, uh, you will get more idea on that. So here I will place only demo 2 dot instead of one here I will replace demo 2 dot zz and I will provide only relative file data backup data now file is done now we'll check ls command here we have option demo 2 dot zero zz as well we have demo 1 dot zz and this one is a demo dot tar so these are the these are the uh, commands by using that we can create zzip extension I already given a document having 100 files so it can there be the guy there I mean 100 files a key other but when we took 100 files uh, it shown more so that's why I am using a very less files to compress the algorithm now to create bz bz files uh, when you if you want to create the bz files bz2 files it is an advanced version of compression algorithm most of companies most of corporate companies they are using a bz2 because it takes more time but it will compress more space okay more data compress karta hai. the bz2 feature compress and create archive file less than the size of gz ye bahut important hai. in previous command we already using a gz the bz2 compression takes more time to compress and decompress the file as compared to the gz which takes less time 
to create highly compressed tar file we need to use option as j b zip karte samay hame kya use karna hai z use karna hai aur b z to use karne ke liye zip karte samay z and b z to karne ke liye we need to use an option as j so ye kya karta hai highly compress karta hai files ko okay to compress the file we need to use z option J option. Then how we will use? We'll go to the terminal. Here we will create file. Before that, here I will use demo tar hyphen c v j f. Before f, we need to add that j. After that, file name name dot b z two. After that, path. By using that, we can create a highly compress file so here we'll use demo hyper tar hyper c v j f so demo 4 dot b z 2 and after that i will provide a relative path after that we will provide a relative path as backup data and enter see backup data all the files are compressed we'll check by using ls command now we'll see demo for bz2 file is created now all the file formats are done we are creating a zip file or we can say that tar file by using by dot tar extension dot zz extension as well as dot bz2 so the difference is when we use only dot tar there is no need to create uh, provide additional supporting uh, what we say options so instead of that just we need to provide cvf for dot zzip or zz we need to provide hyphen cvzf and third one is a dot b z file 2 we need to provide hyphen c v j f to create the file now our first task task is completed that is a compression of given file now second task if you want to view the content or we can say it if you want to list out the content of tar file then we need to use p option that means view only option for that just we need to use tar hyphen tvf and here we need to provide path of file which file path of tar file either it is a tar file either it is a zz file or either it is a zz to b z to file whatever it may be just we need to provide the file so here by using this tvf command we can only list out we cannot able to extract hum extract nahi kar sakte hai just we can view the list or content of that directory directory ke andar kaun se content hai wo only dekh sakte hai so just let's look of all the content so here ls command ls now here i am using a tar hyphen tvf and the first file is a demo1 dot demo demo1 dot tar yeah true so in that demo1 dot what are the files present which files are the present so we can view by using hyphen tvf see in that file we have a file having name abc1 abc2 abc3 abc4 abc5 who is the owner and group owner of that file and what are the permissions are available on that particular file all the information on listed on this section when it was compressed compress kab hua tha date hai time hai everything data will be available but that information only visible okay when we press ls yahan ls karte ho to aapko yahan dikhai nahi dega 
so let's do one thing now we will uncompress the file okay right now i have all the data that's why the file will not uncorrupt first of all we need to remove these files first of all we need to remove this file and after that we can apply uncorruption and uh, uh, what we uncompression of that file rmdir sorry rm hyphen rvf and here i will remove backup data now done now ls karke dekho right now we don't have a backup data file folder now we will uncorrupt how we will uncorrupt uh, uh, uncompress the file so just we need to use x hyphen x we need to uh, use karna x v f to uncompress the file is ke liye use karna hai file uncompress karne ke liye so here we will use tar hyphen x v f and for uncrypts kaun sa kaun sa data kar sakte hain uncompress we can uncrypt the dot tar extension dot zzip extension zz extension and dot bz2 extension tino extension aap ek hi command se perform kar sakte hain so we'll do one by one first of all tar hyphen x v f after that tar dot no demo dot tar tar hyphen x v f x stands for extract x kis ke liye use karna hai hame extract karne ke liye use karna hai let's see it now here verbose is liye ye pura information dekh raha raha hai now with ls ls karne ke baad c we have same folder as a backup folder jaise bhi uncrops un uncompress karta hu to ye backup naam ka folder mujhe wapas aa gaya cd बैकअप डेटा एल एस करके देखो आपका डेटा अवेलेबल है यस वी हैव अवर अवेलेबल डेटा नाउ अगेन आई विल डिलीट दिस फोल्डर आर एम हाइपन आर वी एफ एंड हियर आई विल राइट बैकअप डेटा डन नाउ चेकआउट डज डू यू हैव अ बैकअप डेटा नो नाउ वी विल अनक्रिप्स द अनकम्प्रेस द सेकेंड फाइल डेमो टू डॉट जी जेड ये जो फाइल बनाया था मैंने डेमो वन डॉट जी जेड ये मैंने एक्चुअल पाथ से बनाया था एंड दिस वन इज अ क्रिएटेड बाय यूजिंग रिलेटिव पाथ ओके नाउ हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू अनक्रेप्स अनकंप्रेस द फाइल टार माइनस हाइपर एक्स वी एफ डेमो वन डॉट जी जेड डेमो वन डॉट डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट जी जेड check out done when we press ls see again backup folder is there no backup folder is uh, not there only home folder is there what is the reason when we provide actual path it will take home directory as a your path ye pura aapne home diya tha na aapne path kya diya tha slash home aapne path dete samay aisa diya tha slash home slash working directory slash desktop slash backup data yahan apne path kaun sa diya tha actual path diya tha ab dekhenge cd home ke andar jayenge cd home great uske baad mein uske baad mein aap jayenge working directory working directory uske andar hum jayenge desktop ke andar desktop uske andar hum jayenge data ke andar ya we can say लिस्ट आउट करेंगे सी लिस्ट आउट करने के बाद में हमारा बैकअप डेटा फोल्डर अवेलेबल है ओके नाउ सी डी बैकअप डेटा एंड अलस करके देखेंगे नाउ वी हैव अवर डेटा यहाँ आपको अवर डेटा मिलेगा तो इसमें याद क्या रखना है आपको सिंपल आपको याद रखना है कि आप जब पाथ यूज करते हो एक्चुअल पाथ देते हो तो ये एक्चुअल पाथ से ही डेटा कंप्रेस करता है रिलेटिव पाथ देता है तो रिलेटिव पाथ से ही डेटा कंप्रेस करता है ओके नाउ सेम थिंग है इसको मैं पहले रिमूव कर देता हूँ आर एम हाइपन आर वी एफ एंड होम डन नाउ हमारे पास दूसरा भी फाइल है जी जेड का डेमो टू डॉट जी जेड उसको एक्सट्रैक्ट करके देखते हैं टार हाइपन एक्स वी एफ डेमो टू डॉट जी जेड ओके अब ये क्या क्रिएट करेगा यहाँ बैकअप डेटा नहीं है इट विल क्रिएट अ बैकअप डेटा फोल्डर अलस करके देखो नाउ वी हैव अ बैकअप डेटा अगेन 
सो मैंने पहले कंप्रेस करके दिखा अब वन बाय वन अनकंप्रेस करके दिखा रहा हूँ सो नाउ सी डी बैकअप डेटा गो टू दैट फोल्डर एंड एल एस चेक आउट योर डेटा ए बी सी वन ए बी सी टू ए बी सी थ्री फोर एंड फाइव यू दैट मीन्स वी हैव अवर डेटा अगेन आई विल रिमूव दिस आई एम हाईपन आर वी एफ एंड बैकअप डेटा नाउ वी विल अनकंप्रेस द लास्ट फाइव okay we will uncomp the un uncompress the last file that is a demo4.bz tar hyphen xvf demo4.bz2 okay complete ls again we have backup data jis naam se aapne use compress kiya hai usi naam se wo uncompress hota hai cd backup data check out content yes we have all the contents so today we learn about a tar files in that we have options okay how many options to compress the algorithm tar ke andar hamare paas kya kya hai so first if you want to create a file then we need to use tar hyphen cvf create verbose and file format after that file name फाइल नेम डॉट टार और आफ्टर दैट पाथ ऑफ डी आई आर डिरेक्ट्री फाइल जो भी आपके पास सिंगल फाइल तो हम कॉम्प्रेस नहीं कर सकते कर सकते हैं बट उसका इतना इफेक्ट नहीं करेगा हम कॉम्प्रेशन डिरेक्ट्री पे ही अप्लाई करते हैं सो दिस इज अ सिंपल वे बाई यूजिंग वे आर कॉम्प्रेसिंग द फाइल सेकेंड टार बाई यूजिंग जी जेड फाइल हाइपन सी वी जेड एफ सेम अगेन फाइल नेम फाइल नेम डॉट जी जेड एंड पाथ इसके लिए एडिशनल हमें क्या लगता है हाइपन जेड लगता है जी जेड के लिए थर्ड हमने देखा था हाइपन हैश टार हाइपन सी वी जे एफ फाइल नेम लगता है इसके लिए भी and after that find dot extension is ka kya hota hai bz2 and after that we require a path additionally for that we need to use hyphen j ab content view karne ke liye ya list out karne ke liye hum kya karte hash tar hash maha nahi use karna right now here i am using for a comment hyphen ctvf aur uske baad mein only file नेम डॉट टार होगा तो टार डॉट बी जेड होगा तो बी जेड और डॉट बी बी जेड नहीं जी जेड जी जेड होगा जी जेड और बी जेड टू होगा तो बी जेड टू सो इट विल लिस्ट आउट द ऑल द कंप्रेशन एल्गोरिदम एंड लास्ट वन टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द फाइल टार हाइपन एक्स वी एफ आफ्टर दैट फाइल नेम ओनली फाइल नेम डॉट टार डॉट जी जेड डॉट बी जेड ट्यू सो दीज आर द फाइव इम्पोर्टेंट कमांड्स तो ये आपको लिनक्स में याद होना ही चाहिए टू कंप्रेस एंड अनकंप्रेस द फाइल सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्यूरी रिगार्डिंग दिस टार फाइल सो लेट मी नो आई कैन रिजोल्व दिस इशू एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल क्लोज द सेशन इन द टमोर मॉर्निंग वी विल लर्न फाइंड नहीं जस्ट वी हैव वन मोर कमांड वी विल लर्न अबाउट या इन द मॉर्निंग नो इशू इन द मॉर्निंग वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ न्यू सेशन इन द मॉर्निंग वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ न्यू सेशन राइट नाउ जस्ट इफ यू हैव एनी क्यूरी देन लेट मी नो सो आई कैन रिजोल्व दिस क्यूरी और आई कैन resolve your doubts yes does anyone have any query om hello sir yeah uh, sir apan permissions change kar sakte hai bina decompress kar ka kai permissions hmm change karta hai tar ka sir kasha madhe फाइल क्रिएट टार फाइल नहीं कंप्रेसन अलगोरिदम ऑपरेशन अप्लाय नहीं हो कंप्रेसन अलगोरिदम मध्य फनक्रेस फाइल होता दैट्स इट बाकी ही ऑपरेशन अपन परफॉर्म नहीं करू सकते फॉर एक्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द परमिशन ऑफ कंप्रेस फाइल नो वी कैन नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म 
just we need to uncompress un them, perform operation and after that we can compress that file. Okay. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyone else? Pratik? No, sir. Okay, Sanjana? Ritika? No, sir, I doubt me. Okay, great. Ritika, do you have any question, problem? Ritika? No, oh, sir, I said no. Good. I don't have any doubt. Okay, okay. Got it. Green? Yes, sir. Do you have any question? No, sir. Okay, great. So, right now I will close this session and I will share the document of TAR file. Kindly look into that notes. And if you have any type of query, then let me know. I will resolve that issue. So right now we'll close the session in the tomorrow morning we will learn find command after that cron tab and after that some basics of partitions and day after tomorrow we will learn about partition detail and swap even though we can learn tomorrow cron tab also cron tab we will cover three chapters in the morning so picture ko morning ko present raho. okay I will close the session.